Welcome to Toronto. This vibrant city is not just Canada's largest, but a melting pot of cultures, ideas and experiences. A bustling city nestled on the shores of Lake Ontario. In this video, I'm going to share 25 must-see attractions in Toronto. I'm driving to Toronto from London, Ontario and I have reached Toronto. So this is the capital city of the province of Ontario in Canada. The number one must-see attraction while in Toronto is none other than CN Tower. This iconic landmark is the tallest freestanding structure and offers panoramic views of the city and Lake Ontario. I've been to CN Tower a couple of times, so that's me clicking tons of pictures from the observation deck. On the main observation level, there's also a glass floor. It was quite thrilling. Now, if you're looking for an adventure at CN Tower, here's Edge Walk, the world's highest full circle hands-free walk and the first of its kind in North America. If you're a thrill seeker and a foodie, you must visit the 360 restaurant located within the CN Tower. So this restaurant revolves 360 degrees every 72 minutes. So you can enjoy ever-changing vistas of the city skyline, Lake Ontario and beyond. This restaurant offers not only a culinary journey through Canada's flavors, but also a visual feast of Toronto's skyline, making it a truly unforgettable dining experience atop the CN Tower. Go to cntower.ca and click on Get Tickets. So there's a link, see pricing options at a glance, click on that. So tickets can be purchased up to 30 days in advance. So here's the option timed general admission this is to get to the main observation level so here are the pricing and there's another option sky pod and timed general admission and here are the prices here's the price for edge walk starting at 199 canadian dollars Skypod is a totally different experience. You can go 33 stories higher from the main observation level and over there you will feel the tower sway in the wind. Quite a thrilling experience. If you're planning to dine at the 360 restaurant, you must make the reservation. So click on 360 reservations and click on the book now. Your table will be reserved. Our second spot is to see the Toronto sign at Nathan Phillips Square. This public square in front of City Hall is home to the famous Toronto sign, a colorful and illuminated display of the city's name that makes for a great picture. In the spring, summer and fall, Nathan Phillips Square features a fountain. In the winter, the water fountain turns into an outdoor artificial ice rink. This square is a bustling public square located in the heart of downtown Toronto and it hosts a wide range of events, festivals and performances throughout the year. One of the most popular events held at Nathan Phillips Square is the annual New Year's Eve celebration. Here is the old city hall. This stands as a testament to Toronto's rich history and architectural heritage. This is without a doubt a timeless beauty. Third must-see attraction is Toronto Islands. It's away from the hustle and bustle of downtown Toronto. It's a group of small islands. Toronto Islands are renowned for their natural beauty featuring lush green spaces, scenic walking and biking trails, sandy beaches and panoramic views of the Toronto skyline. One of the best ways to explore the Toronto Islands is by canoeing around the islands. My husband and I, we took a sunset canoe group tour and it was totally worth Worth it. Toronto Islands are a haven for both birds and bird watchers. It's an amazing bird sanctuary. We spotted several birds like cormorants, trumpeter swans, mute swans, egrets, blue herons, ducks and beavers. The view of the magnificent Toronto skyline and CN Tower from the islands is just spectacular. Toronto Islands host various events and festivals throughout the year. There is a Centerville amusement park featuring a variety of rides, games and attractions for children of all ages. And you will get a view of the Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport. 
Getting to the Toronto Islands, we have to go to Harbour Front. So we can either take the water taxi, it's only a 10 minutes ride, or we can take a short ferry ride from the Jack Layton Ferry Terminal. If you drove to Toronto, you can park the car at the Harbour Front. From the Harbour Front to the Ferry Terminal, it's only 6 minutes walk. Ferry tickets can be purchased either from the terminal or go to toronto.ca slash ferry and click on get the tickets and here are the prices. The tickets are valid for round trips. And yes, we can take our bikes on the ferry free of cost. That way we can explore the islands on our bike. The fourth must-see attraction is the Royal Ontario Museum or ROM. The ROM is Canada's largest and most comprehensive museum with collections that span art, culture and natural history from ancient times to the present. The ROM boasts an extensive and diverse collection of over 6 million artifacts and specimens. That's me standing in front of a Barosaurus. So the skeleton was from 150 million years ago. Here is the million dollar coin, a popular attraction at the ROM drawing visitors from around the world who are fascinated by its size, purity and intrinsic value. You can get the tickets either from the front desk or you can get it online. Go to rom.on.ca and click on buy tickets and you can purchase the tickets over here. So it will show the calendar. So $26 is for adults. So they have discounts for students, youth, child and senior citizens. Fifth must-see attraction while in Toronto is Ripley's Aquarium of Canada. It's an immersive marine attraction located in downtown Toronto. The aquarium features a diverse array of marine life from around the world, housed in several themed galleries and exhibits. Throughout the year, Ripley's Aquarium hosts special events, theme nights and seasonal exhibits such as Shark Week, Halloween events and holiday celebrations. These events offer unique experiences and entertainment for visitors of all ages. You can either purchase the tickets on site or you can get it online. Go to replace.com, click on buy tickets. So there are a couple of options. Click on time tickets and you can reserve your entry time. Here are the prices. Or you can get the flex ticket. So click on buy now. So the advantage of flex ticket is that this is valid for one time use within a year of purchase. And this will make a perfect gift for someone with an interest in the wonders of the underwater world. Sixth must visit attraction is the Art Gallery of Ontario. This is one of the most distinguished art museums in North America. The AGO boasts a vast and diverse collection of over 100,000 works of art spanning various periods, styles and mediums. To purchase the tickets, you can either go to the art gallery and get it from there or you can get it online. Go to ago.ca, click on book your tickets. For one time visit, it's $30. If you live in Ontario and if you're an art fanatic, for $35, you can get the annual pass and you can visit this art gallery anytime. Seventh must visit attraction while in Toronto is the Ontario Place. This is a waterfront cultural entertainment and recreational complex. This is situated on three man-made islands along Toronto's waterfront, offering stunning views of the city skyline. It has the world's first permanent IMAX theatre and Ontario Place has been a popular venue for live events, concerts, festivals and cultural celebrations throughout the year. When you're here, you can enjoy views of flights taking off from Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport. Eighth must-visit attraction while in Toronto is Casa Loma. It's a historic mansion and an architectural marvel featuring a blend of Gothic revival and Edwardian style. Surrounding the mansion are five acres of beautifully landscaped gardens. Visitors can explore the gardens and enjoy the panoramic views of Toronto's skyline. Date-specific general admission tickets can be purchased online. Go to castleoma.ca under Experience the Castle. Click on Plan Your Visit. So you will be able to see all the prices over here. So this is open daily from 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m.
So please note the gardens will close at 4 p.m. Monday to Wednesday and 3 p.m. Thursday to Sunday. They also offer on-site dining. So click on on-site dining and you will be able to view the menu and you have to make a reservation. They also host special events and holiday celebrations. So click on events and you will be able to see all the events. So for Mother's Day, they are hosting a high tea at the castle. So you have to make the reservation online. And this also includes admission to Casa Loma. Ninth must visit attraction is Kensington Market. It is a vibrant and diverse neighborhood located in downtown Toronto. This market is known for its bustling streets filled with independent shops, vintage boutiques, specialty food stores, and international eateries. Tenth must visit attraction while in Toronto is the Hockey Hall of Fame. It's a shrine dedicated to the history of ice hockey, celebrating the sport's greatest players, teams, and achievements. So this is a must visit for hockey fans and sports enthusiasts. To book the tickets online, go to hhoff.com. So this is open daily 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So click on plan your visit today and here are the price. 11th must visit attraction is Bloor Street. This upscale neighborhood is renowned for its luxury boutiques, art galleries, and high end restaurants. So it's a hub for fashion and culture, hosting the Toronto International Film Festival and other high profile events. Exploring Bloor Street provides a glimpse into the heart of one of Canada's most dynamic cities. The 12th must-visit attraction is the Toronto Path. It's an extensive underground pedestrian walkway network. It spans more than 30 kilometers. It's one of the largest underground shopping complexes in the world, offering a unique way to explore the city. The path represents a fascinating aspect of urban planning and offers an intriguing journey through the heart of Toronto. 13th must visit attraction is the Eaton Center. It's a bright and bustling multi level shopping mall. It's not just a shopping destination but a landmark and a meeting place. Every Christmas, Eaton Center will have the iconic Christmas tree. This is 114 foot tall and is the tallest Christmas tree in North America. 14th must-visit attraction is Chinatown, Toronto. It's a dynamic and thriving neighborhood that offers a taste of Chinese culture, cuisine, and commerce in the heart of downtown Toronto. 15th must-visit attraction is St. Lawrence Market, one of Toronto's most famous and beloved landmarks. It has been a destination for shoppers, food lovers, and tourists for over two centuries. A visit to this market offers a taste of Toronto's heart and soul. 16th must visit attraction is the Distillery District. It's a captivating blend of the old and the new. So this is a pedestrian only village is set within beautifully preserved Victorian era industrial architecture, making it one of Toronto's most picturesque and popular destination for both locals and tourists. 17th must visit attraction is the Toronto Zoo. It offers not just a day of fun, but also an opportunity to learn about and connect with the natural world, emphasizing the importance of conservation and our role in preserving our planet's biodiversity for future generations. You can get the tickets online. Go to torontozoo.com, click on plan your visit, click on tickets and groups and get tickets. You can also get group tickets. So there are different packages for the zoo admission tickets. Click over here. So you can choose the date and you can also see the price for that date. I'm going to select May 30th from the calendar and it will show all the prices based on the age. So for adult age 13 to 64, it's 28.20 and for child age 3 to 12, it's 19.74.
18th must do attraction is the Toronto Harbour Boat Tours. It offers a unique and memorable way to experience the city from the perspective of its beautiful waterfront. These tours provide stunning views of Toronto skyline, the Toronto Islands and the bustling harbour area. The view of the Toronto skyline at night is beyond spectacular. To get the tickets, go to harbortourstoronto.ca, click on tours and schedule. So you can see all the schedule and timings and click on buy tickets. You can get the ticket for Toronto Harbour and Islands Sightseeing. So this is for the boat. You can also book the ticket for water taxi. So water taxi, you can go to the Toronto Islands. So click on water taxi and all the details are given here. So it's $12.50 per person one way. If you would like to go on a cruise, you can also do that. Go to cityexperiences.com. So there are so many different packages. So there are cruises for lunch, sunset cruise, dinner cruise. So you can select the one that you would like and you can book the tickets online. 19th must visit attraction is the Ontario Science Centre. It's a world-class science museum located in Toronto, Ontario. It's an awesome opportunity to ignite curiosity, inspire discovery and foster a lifelong love of learning about the wonders of the natural world and the marvels of science and technology. You can get the tickets online or you can get it from the center. So go to ontariosciencecenter.ca, click on get tickets. So there are two packages. So I'm going to click on the general admission. So we have to select the date on the calendar and it will show the price. I'm going to select April 17th on the calendar and we have to select an item. I'm going to select exhibit hall admission. There's also a combo ticket and it will show the price. 20th must do attraction is just roam around the city. If you are a tourist, I would highly recommend you guys just roam around the city and experience the multiculturalism. Toronto is one of the most multicultural cities in the world. You can immerse yourself in the different cultures and cuisines of the city by visiting its various neighborhoods and enjoy the nightlife. Toronto has a vibrant and diverse nightlife And scene. of course, shop till you drop. Toronto is a shopper's paradise. If you're in Toronto and if you're planning to be in Toronto for a few days, I'm going to share a few places you must visit that are close to Toronto. So here's our 21st must visit attraction that's close to Toronto. It's none other than the majestic Niagara Falls. Here is the view of Niagara Falls in winter. Niagara Falls is one of the most iconic natural wonders in the world. When you are here, besides enjoying the falls, you can also do a lot of activities and adventures. I have the detailed video about the top 35 things to do in Niagara Falls, so I'll post the link in the description below, check that out. When you are in Niagara Falls, I would highly recommend you guys stay in a room with the most stunning and breathtaking view of the Niagara Falls. And here is the spectacular view of the illuminated Niagara Falls at night from the room. If you want to know more about how to book the room with the best view of the Niagara Falls and which hotel to pick, I have a detailed video. I'll post the link in the description below. How to get to Niagara Falls from Toronto? If you're from Canada or from the US, you can rent a car and you can drive to Niagara Falls. In less than two hours, you can reach Niagara Falls. Again, it depends on the Toronto traffic. If you're a tourist visiting Toronto, you can hop on a bus and get to Niagara Falls. So just search Toronto to Niagara Falls buses. You will find a few shuttle services. So here's one by Flix bus. So let's pick a round trip Toronto to Niagara Falls, pick the date and select the number of passengers and search. So here is the price. It's around $40.99 and there are different timings. 
here is another shuttle service by Greyhound so I picked round trip and pick the date number of passengers I just picked one and click search and you can select the time you would like and here are the prices here is another service by Niagara and Toronto Tours. So there are two pickup locations from the airport or from downtown Toronto. So pick that and click on book now. Pick the date from the calendar. I'm going to pick April 8th and it will show the price. So the first one adults, it also includes home blower boat cruise. So that cruise goes very close to the Niagara Falls it's a thrilling one so if you don't want the boat cruise you can just select without that it's 99 Canadian dollars so this is for round trip 22nd must visit attraction that's close to Toronto is Niagara on the lake it's a charming and picturesque town you can just walk around enjoy the historic charm and the stunning scenery there are several waterfront parks and you can enjoy activities such as kayaking canoeing and cycling along the Niagara River 23rd must visit attraction that's close to Toronto is Yorkdale Shopping Center. This is one of the premier shopping destinations and it's renowned for its upscale retail offerings, luxury brands and elegant atmosphere. It's like having all the luxury brands under one roof. So this shopping center offers a sophisticated and luxurious shopping experience. If you're a tourist and looking for a specific luxury brand, you will find it here. This mall is 30 minutes drive away from downtown Toronto. If you're coming from Toronto and if you don't have a car, you can take the GO train or GO transit. There is a station inside the mall. This is very convenient. You don't even have to go outside so you can get to the train from the mall. 24th must visit attraction that's close to Toronto is Square One Shopping Center. This is one of the largest and most prominent shopping malls in Canada. This is located in Mississauga. It's 30 minutes drive away from downtown Toronto. So this offers a diverse array of shopping, dining, entertainment and cultural experiences. Being a foodie, I love the food district in this mall. We can explore and enjoy different kinds of cuisines and food from around the world. What I love about this shopping center is that it's very vibrant and dynamic. It has a cool vibe and offers a pleasant ambience. I have dined in this restaurant, Farsi Cafe. It's a contemporary Indian bistro known for its innovative take on traditional Indian cuisine. For special occasions, I would highly recommend this restaurant. You will also find tons of fast food places, so come with an empty stomach and you can enjoy all the food, pastries and desserts. One of the desserts I really enjoyed is this Brigadeiros. It's a traditional Brazilian dessert. Finally, the 25th must-see attraction that's close to Toronto is Oakville. It's a beautiful town located along the shores of Lake Ontario. It's known for its affluent neighborhoods, charming downtown area and scenic waterfront. We can just roam around and explore unique shops, dine at gourmet restaurants and pastry shops. Here is the Oakville Lighthouse. It's a historic landmark located at the entrance of the Oakville Harbor. That's a wrap guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and found this video helpful. If you're visiting Toronto, have a great vacation. In Toronto, every street tells a story. Every corner invites exploration. So whether you're a visitor or a resident, immerse yourself in this vibrant city. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Take care everyone, enjoy and bye!